Just a quick and dirty video today. I want to talk about a new signal that's appeared in 2020 firmware called battery temp percentage. Uh, and also, uh, Teslax has finally been released to the App Store actually a week or two ago. Uh, and the author's given me uh, a few codes for the extra strength subscription that lets you do all the things that you see me do here in the video. Um, so stay tuned towards the end of the video and I'll talk about that. But uh, let me first discuss this uh, BMS battery temp percentage that has appeared in uh, recent firmwares. Um, it's part of the um, battery thermals message. And uh, I've been kind of watching it the last few weeks, and I'll, it's not been very warm. Um, I've been uh, trying to see what it tells us about. And so, you know, I've, I've already spoken about how the minimum battery temperature, which I have on the left here, um, can define your regen power as you're driving, uh, as well as, uh, you know, your performance and, and uh, how you can charge and those kind of things. Um, but this battery temp percentage seems to kind of more clearly define it and open up a little bit of a mystery. Um, so what I did was keep track of this over time um, in a bunch of different situations and look at the, t the temp percentage compared to the minimum battery temperature. Uh, also down the bottom, I have battery cell temp min. Uh, it's really, um, I'll go into the details of this in a battery video coming up soon, but uh, I, I really think that the cell temp min is something taken very quickly. The minimum battery temperature is um, a little bit more of a safety, kind of more averaged, and then it takes from that number, uh, the battery temp percentage, they do seem to follow each other. Uh, so what I found is um, the temp percentage, sure enough, goes to zero right at um, freezing at the freezing point. Uh, it seems to actually cross at 33 degrees, not 32 degrees. Um, or I should say one degree Celsius. Uh, probably again for a little bit of safety net. Um, but uh, I had to extrapolate the curve because the highest I saw was like 40 something percent. Even on a relatively warm day, of course, it's, it's still uh, cold here. Um, but what I think that says is the 100 degrees, uh, I'm sorry, the 100% extrapolates to hit exactly right about 50 C. So it looks like it's a linear line right between 1 degree C and 50 degrees C. Pretty makes a lot of sense. And uh, I think it explains why a lot of people don't get very fast supercharging on, on uh, V3 superchargers. I bet you that needs to be as close to 100% as possible to get your full 250 kilowatt charge. Uh, we're still waiting for those to open up around here. There's there's one down the road that's still under construction, and I'm going to test that as well and do a little video on that. But um, it's a nice little, another little signal to, to monitor if you wanted to, that, that you can do with Teslax and uh, some other items. And um, it'll give you an idea of, you know, what your regen will be like, but uh, how, how warm your battery is um, if you want to get your maximum charge rate. Um, so... Teslox is out. As you can see, I've been doing a lot with it, and it's fairly configurable. Um, and the author gave me a code or two to give away. Um, so what I need from you guys is subscriptions. Uh, I, I hate to pander for that stuff, but YouTube doesn't give anyone a nickel until you get a 1,000 subscribers. So uh, the other thing I need is some more ideas. I have a couple in my head, and I'm going to do this uh, longer battery video soon. But... Um, so I'd ask for you, please subscribe and make a comment below on something you'd like me to see a, a video about uh, some signals or some question you, you wonder, uh, any kind of things I can try to answer or look deeper into. Um, and uh, I'll pick uh, one or two of you uh, to give this, this code away, which is uh, worth uh, extra strength uh, test lacks, which allows you to pull up all the signals and everything else. Um, okay, thanks.